morning so i'm out this morning and i'm going to try and collect myself some uh, silver birch well, there's some around in this area obviously some deadfall i'm going to take it i'm not going to cut anything alive down so i've just come out fairly local to where i live this morning um come out on the bike got a bad boy down there with a carrier bag on the seat so i didn't get a wet butt this morning because i left it uh, uncovered all night um and we're basically just here at a local piece of woodland i'll switch the camera around and you can see where we're we're heading so it's literally just like an old piece of what a lot of people I suppose would call wasteland but no, no land is wasted in my opinion um as you see it's mainly overgrown a few trails around a lot of people do tend to bring their dogs around here for, for walks and what have you um as you see there's, there's paths here probably a lot of them are natural pathways animal pathways but one good thing about this location, like I said, it's very local to me. It takes me a couple of minutes to get here on the bike. And as you can see, excuse me, I'm a little bit out of breath. A bit of a uh, trek into the bit of land. Um, it's, it's, uh, sorry, as I was saying, like I say, this place is absolutely littered. Littered with brambles. Absolutely everywhere. So at the right time of year, obviously we can come down here and do some foraging. This is the local piece of actual woodland. Um, in the last year there was somebody living in here, camped up, so I mean, hopefully, we're not gonna run across anybody like that today, but we will see what we can find. Beautiful little spot that we could come and camp in, but like I say, it's very local. Um, so we're, there's a lot of houses nearby, but anyway, I'm gonna have a little look around, a little scout around, see what I can find, and uh, I'll get back to you. So this is the location where there was somebody living. They had a tent set up for quite some time, to be honest. Um, and as you can see, they've just left rubbish strewn everywhere. Old corn on the cob. Uh, bicycles in the tree. Just in the area where all the silver birch are. But unfortunately, I mean, as you can see there is no deadfall so I'm not going to be taking any live trees today so uh, some will say it's a wasted journey wasted trip but uh, it's 6.30 in the morning sun's out and I'm out having fun just strolling through my local piece of woodland get out there guys just uh, enjoy the fresh air enjoy the outdoors enjoy your natural surroundings um I walk out of my front door and all I hear is cars uh, and the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Um, and literally just a couple of minutes away from my doorstep. It's bliss, absolute bliss. Unfortunate that uh, I'm not taking home a piece of birch actually. What have I just spot through here? Mm. Ah, another campsite through here. I may, may be able to take a log of this. What some other person has hacked at. Who knows? I mean, I may be able to take a small chunk off of that and, and, and find some work. And the blah, blah, blah find some workable material. I mean, it's all I've really got, <laughs> slim pickings, really slim pickings. There is a whole whole tree lay here, um, silver birch, so I might strip some bark off, add to my fire kit. <clears throat> but yeah, other than that, quite a short trip this morning. So I've just harvest, harvested the uh, birch bark from the deadfall, and I was gonna take a log off of the top of this, thinking that it hadn't been cut all that long ago, but pretty rotten. So I'm gonna leave it. So I've been trekking for another couple of minutes. I actually managed to find a small, very, very small log. It's not very round, but I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll make some, sm uh, some spoons, small scoops. We'll see, see where the day takes us. So <clears throat> managed to find what I was looking for. 
now I've got to try and manage to find not only my way out of here, but where the blooming hell I left my bike. Just, uh, I kind of just abandoned it, really. There wasn't a lot of, a lot of thought process. Oh my God, I can't get through this way. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I mean, I pulled in. Got to a little bit that I realised I couldn't go any further uh, on the bike. Kind of chuck the kickstand down and Ow. oh god, there's one for the blooper rail. And I just stuck my back into this thing and it was and it was my bare back as well because as you can see, the blooper backpacks pulled my jacket up. Whoa. So, oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, the majority of this footage will probably be sped up in the edit. Just so you don't have to watch me fumbling about like an idiot. And uh, breathing like Darth Vader down the microphone at you. How the blooming hell did I get in here? Anyway, I'll check back in when I find my bike. <laughs> Pretty much gone full loop. <clears throat> I'm not lost, because it's not big enough to get lost. However, I'm lost. No, <laughs> no, I've kind of came in a bizarre, bizarre direction. I'm not sure which way I came in, and I have to kind of come in underneath some brambles. And obviously, it looks totally different from this side. So here I am. I've tripped back into the woodland. Um, I'm on a, on a path, um, and I'm going to follow it all the way to the end. Hop a ditch. Walk along the road and back into the uh, the woodland from the entrance I entered on the bike. So, uh, catch you in a minute. <laughs> so I finally found where I need to be. I'd completely missed the uh, the opening that I came in through. It kind of looks like this. It doesn't look like a great deal of an opening from a distance. Let me push your way in. And these few trees, because eventually there's a little opening. Oh god, this hood is killing me today. There's another little opening up here somewhere. See my little white stripe of my helmet popping up there, and some. Like some voices in the distance, probably some local dog walkers. So, so I've been out this morning for about an hour, literally trekking around the, the woodlands. You can see the back there, very, very small piece of woodland. There's a, another piece just behind that, with a small break in between, like kind of similar to where we were sitting now, all brambles and, and overgrown. This is an old orchard, so. Uh, as I was saying earlier about the blackberries, being able to harvest the blackberries. There are also uh, apple trees, plum trees, and pear trees all in this, situated in this in this piece of land. Um, so some future videos, hopefully, of, uh, of some, some gathering, hunter gathering. Let's see what we can do. Anyway, I'm going to head home and see what we can do with this piece of silver birch. <laughs> so we came in this morning, harvested some uh, birch, got back to the house, as you'll see in the video. Uh, started getting stuff out of my bag, tripod, saw, axe, only I realised there's no Freaking tripod, tripod, or tri there was no tripod or a tripod because I'd left it in the woodland. But earlier, whilst I was exploring, I found oh shit, I got yeah, I found a little shortcut back into the main woodland that I was in. So, with any luck, nobody's bloody been here. And I can stroll straight, oh my god, oh, Jesus, I didn't even see this earlier. It's even better than I thought. It's a complete pathway straight back in. So, new discoveries. 
let's go and find this tripod. Oh, ow. So this is where, and yeah, there it is. This is my tripod. Right where I left it, oh. There is now, my tripod's still here, so we're good. <laughs> this is the bike off in the distance in the corner. And just beyond that bush is where I came from, just, I'm not sure if you can see the little fence panel. Central, central screen. Yeah. Would you believe that? You can see there's house roofs everywhere. But nestled amongst it is this little gym. So, back after retrieving the uh, tripod. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the tools that we're going to use. Um, and then we're going to start processing down the piece of birch that we harvested this morning, or we found this morning. As you can tell, oh, we can't tell right at this moment, but I don't get the same peace and tranquility here at home that we do out in the woodland. Uh, a lot of noise, a lot of surrounding noise. So the next part of the video will be a time lapse. So as you can see, we've got some, there's some uh, various size chisels, some wood carving chisels, just a cheap set from Amazon, a whittling set, sharpening stone, strop, file, steel rule. This is my little uh, rudimental uh, knocking stick hammer for when I'm chiseling. Small saw, um, looks old and beat, but it's better than it looks. As for this one, very sandpaper for finishing. Uh, a couple of other hook knives, and, and then just some examples of things that I've made previously with the tools that you can see here in front of you. So a spoon made from, uh, well, I think it was an old oak chopping board it's been split this is a piece of apple wood from a local orchard so is this and this and this um, I believe this may be pine 